then uh, button rolls over Jack High, and he looks back at his hand and he looks. So while this story of the world championship was happening for all of us, there was the side story none of us anticipated that one of our crew, Ethan, making a run in a $25,000 high roller tournament. Yeah, these 25K tournaments are really new to me. Uh, as someone who's only played poker for like three and a half years, of course, not many people actually play 25Ks, I guess, it turns out. Here at the win, this 25K that happened, I just landed in Vegas and I knew this was an option and potentially a tournament that I could play. And I had a number in my mind where if it got anywhere close to 100 entrants, then I would hop into it. And well, it did. It got really close to it when I entered about like 80 players in and I tried to sell action because I'm not bankrolled to play in $25,000 tournaments. I sold a little bit of action on State Kings last minute as much as I could. I just know that when there's 100 entrants, you know that they're not all going to be pros. There's going to be some recreational players and I won't be the worst player in the field. So at least there's a shot and anyone can win all ins. So I hopped in, played, I busted in 40 minutes and then there was dinner break and I had like an hour, give or take, to kind of figure out if I wanted to rebuy or not. I busted. Seven deuce. Other guy had seven way. deuce. I told my buddy. He's I don't know. He decided, he decided to call. He's gonna fire huh? again day one C. Ace ten. Tag like two hundred K. Yeah. And then win the tournament. It's a foot. <laughs> I didn't initially plan on it. Somehow, some way during dinner, I thought more and more about it. I looked at the field. I felt like. You can always max late reg, 20 big blinds. You can't really mess that up that much, and all you can do is take a shot, gamble, and hope for the best. So I thought it was a good opportunity to do it. Also, I already had like half of a video uh, recorded and filled out. If I wasn't gonna fire a second bullet, then like all of that content from the first bullet would have been gone to waste. Let's just bet on myself and see what happens. These high rollers are no joke. And first of all, $25,000 is no joke. Ethan took a big risk right? But he believes in himself. These high rollers are full of the best poker players in our industry. Folks that know GTO, Game Theory Optimal left and right, who do this for a living, that have the bank girls, that have the backing, that have the swaps. These are like the high rollers of our industry. The major difference between the 25k high roller and the WPT main event is uh, just sheer numbers. So the skill in the 25K is gonna be heavily concentrated. Uh, there's only 108 players. The WPT 10K main event has nearly 3,000. If I were to teach someone how to play a high roller and I set them out to go play a $600 buy an event, they would get destroyed. They would not work. At the same time, if I taught, if you have a $600 player go play in a high roller, they would get destroyed there because it wouldn't work. The, the two games are very, very different. Yeah, a tournament like the 25K with so fewer entrants, there's gonna be less players kind of in the middling skill tiers where you're gonna get very good professionals in the 25K. Being, It's more likely you'll encounter very good players at your table in a 25K. So being able to, to deal with good players becomes an important skill to have in a field like that. The only two people that played in it were Darren and Ethan. Berkey can do it, but if Berkey's gonna put 25,000 on the table, it'll be in a cash game, right? That's just his forte. So it was Darren and Ethan. And Darren's tournament was cut short, right? But slowly but surely, I remember like, we're all just paying attention to the results while we're playing day 1A. But Ethan's still in there. There's the famous Jeff Flat. Oh, there's the even more famous Someone just told me that Wait, you did you say even more famous? I'm alive. A second. I don't want to be crazy, but I watch both of you guys vlog like, all the time. Good luck today. Good luck today. Good luck today. Good luck today. The bank will challenge is awesome. I'll pop it. It's all this cash in here. Uh, day two of the 25k today, uh, starting in like 20 minutes. Eight, 18 players in, 11 players make the money, and I'm like middling stack, so it's a big sweat. Uh, hopefully for a big cash, $900,000 for first place. So uh, I don't know, I don't know. There's a sweat. I, I've never been this nervous before uh, a tournament right now. Day two of the 25k. It's like a really big spot. I have all of myself. Min cash is 3x the buy-in. Like. My variance is high, I, I gotta play well and hopefully run good. We're all turning around to look at the feature table to see if Ethan's still sitting down. It's getting close to the money. Ethan's still in there. Oh shit, he's got no chips. All right, situation right now. Sweat, 14 players left. 
there's like one short stack. The other short stack at my table just doubled. 11 people make the money. I'm like in the middle. I'm like tied with like six other people for the same amount of chips. It's a fucking shit show right now. Chips are on the stone bubble right now, so next person to bust gets zero. And then everyone else will lock up a min cash. Of, not really min cash, it's 3x. 72,000. I have nine big blinds. Someone down there has like nine big blinds. Go ahead and say. Go ahead and say. I face to face with the devil. Work on depression, I lived in the rebel. If you group up with the odds, all against you, but still you broke even and went up in levels, then go ahead and say. Go ahead and say. We never in our favor Still we last longer than those that have forged Dealt the cards that they gave us Still we successful when no one supported Feel you have to step our game up Winning and killers just made us so strong Waiting this is what we made of If they don't hand it to us then we forced them After the war Everything's clear They think it's over Look at the smoke Cause we're gonna be there We're the survivors We're the survivors We're the survivors Got Messiah Open, Helio Fox Jam, Rampage Call, Ladies Tables. Wow. Helio with the pocket ace. So Rampage looking to hold here with the Mama Seaters. He's playing around 500k. Nice Oof. clean run out. Seven of hearts is also a bit of a tease. <laughs> clean run out for Rampage. God. And he was like, okay, whatever. Sorry, I'm just going to jump back into Ooh. this. Is uh, We've got a little 10 wow. 9 against Queens. The offsuit 9 river. Sick. Teach me. Sick. Who had the 10 9? Felipe. Did Rampage have the yeah, 10 9? Yeah, Rampage with the 10 9. Oh my god. Rocking what a tear. The luck box merchandise and just showcasing that in true fashion. So we are down to nine. The final table will be set. And once he made the money, we're like, he could do something here. He has no fear. He could make a run at this thing. He is the type of player who is going to play for first. And he might be knocked out first in the money or he might actually make a run at this thing. No matter what happens, I feel pretty happy with the outcome because I was such a short stack. I was on the bubble and I was by far the shortest stack and basically the odds were against me and there was no way I was going to survive. And then there's a turning point where it went from I'm happy to be here and I'm happy with whatever result and it flipped to, I want to win this now, and I better win this damn thing now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the win in Las Vegas. All eyes in the poker world gonna be on that young man in seat seven, Rampage. Just kind of, you know, just flicking in 25K, hard to set himself. Second, second ever 25k. You absolutely love to see it. This is a this is a guy who two years ago was playing grinding the two five no limit game, yeah. making vlogs, and as the vlogs became more and more successful, he parlayed that into taking some shots, and the shots went well, and now he's become a mainstay in the highest stakes game. It's been a truly meteoric rise for, for Rampage for sure. I'm taking a hundred percent of yourself in a 25k. 809. How do you not root for the man? That's it. <laughs> How can you not? There's eight players left. Uh, I'm second in chips, but I have 33 bigs, which is like nothing. So variance will be high. Seventh place locks up a six-figure store, which is fantastic. And this is like the biggest spot of my entire fucking life. So uh, nerve-wracking. I'll be happy with whatever happens, but um, let's just try to spin it up. From Rampage, by the way, on this turn card. Big fan of this. Yeah, this is certainly a Rampage card more than a Kevin card. Although Kevin's opening so wide on the button in this particular situation, he's going to have a lot more sevens than he normally would. Uh, still, when Rampage check calls the flop, he's... Um, and for Kevin, the flush got there, but you do have a blocker to the flush. Uh, 
Does wow. Go. Rampage. Rampage. Getting one through up to 3.5 million second in chips now. Okay. How'd you like him now, chat? Regardless of what happened. Ooh. Oh, no. Jack of Hearts, Kevin, with 100% lock on the turn. Go. He finds the check. It's really nice. That's what I'd expect. Something between six and seven hundred, five and six hundred, five and seven hundred. I mean, five fifty. Okay. You're you're not loving that turn card. You're, in fact, you're probably hating that turn card. But the price is so good. Yeah. And you could beat a lot of the hands that are doing that. So you could beat basically every hand that's doing that. So. Oh, what? rampage! What? Rampage poker. What just happened? Naughty little fold on the turn there. Rampage is playing his face off today. Rampage really trying to convert that win. Oh, I mean, of course they did. That is that is an insane fold. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's a, it's a <laughs> oh boy. Whoa. Taylor setting the trap with the ace nine, and this could get us two heads up if Rampage can convert that 37% against the ace nine of Taylor to get us to heads up play. Taylor looking to hold and well, whoa. how about an up flush draw? The Rampage of Club would leave him drawing dead and well, Jack of Diamonds on the turn and all of a sudden, Taylor finds himself one card away from elimination. The good news is he does have 13 ounce. And the river gives Rampage two pair and just like that, we lose Taylor Powell in third place. Going to be going home with $328,000. Rampage heads up <laughs> against one of the best. I thought, I thought I was no limit hold'em heads up players in the world. Kevin Rabichow. You have a quarter million dollars locked up. I am now in the black for <laughs> tournaments this year. So far. That is until I like, fired in the 10K. I am in the the black. <laughs> My mindset has always been like, especially in tournaments, this is definitely not a healthy one, but if I don't win the tournament, then I'm not achieving my goal because the whole point of entering into a tournament is to win the damn thing. Oh, saying you wanted the Rampage v Kevin heads up match. Well, you got what you asked for, 894,000 for the win. Shout some heads up coaching across the table. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're asking me for right now? Yeah. <laughs> I think you'd need to pay me more than usual, right? And then use seven to the top. Makes sense to go for the jam, just kind of spinning the wheel, as well as winning pre flop, not having to do with playing post. Kind of a sharp <laughs> strategy, honestly. hands here. Queen Jack suited for Kevin on the button, starting off the hand. 24 big lines effective. Rampage with King Jack of Hearts in the big has Kevin out pipped by one on this one. 24 bigs. Does make the call and has himself in a rough shape as he gets shown the king jack suited rampage by the way chat was down to seven big blinds on the bubble on the stone bubble was the shortest stack was nursing a seven big blind stack for the better part of two hours now finds himself two cards away from claiming victory here in the wpt 25k high roller That is a card. Let me just pay you. <laughs> Eight, nine, four. One card to come for Dealer. the win. Four diamonds. Rampage poker closing things out here. WPT 25k high roller for a career best cash of $894,000.
I just know the journey he's been on. I know what something like that can do to catapult his influence, his confidence. I felt a sense of gratitude. I felt a sense of excitement for him. And as weird as it sounds, like I was proud. Tried to sell some action last minute to a few friends, Mike, Joe, they both said no. They thought that I would snap bust. Luckily, that did not, and I get to laugh in their face every single time. That is great for poker. That is great for poker. Even winning the 25K is very subtly probably one of his lifetime defining moments or at least career defining moments um, that he won't realize until many, many, many years down the line. And the reason I say that is because uh, having a windfall of nearly a million dollars at the young age of 25, I believe, it really does set you up to have the freedom to do whatever you want moving forward. And all of those paths have different ceilings attached to them. Whether he wants to pursue high rollers or high stakes cash or a mix of both or move all out of poker altogether and into another uh, career field. Like he has the liberty to take the time and figure that out. Uh, and he's young enough where he's really risking nothing in doing so. So when you have someone like Rampage win a high roller, it's obviously a really big thing for the industry. Again, you know, guys like Rampage, they're the new influencers that are, are bringing people into the game that are, in, you know, getting the younger generation. I mean, you know, I don't have 18 to 21, 24 year olds watching me play poker anymore. I mean, I've got the old guys watching me, but the, the young guys, I mean, I, I can't really relate with them as much. Rampage does. Rampage does a really good job of, of relating with that audience and really bringing in that newer generation of poker and uh, people that can relate with him and see, you know, his um, trials and tribulations along the way and can relate with that when he goes and wins a high roller. Well, it's kind of the same thing when I won. People see themselves in him and they know that, you know, if he can do it, they can, you know, on that level then they can do it as well. And it just gives people hope and inspiration. And that's what grows the game. So uh, assuming that he's somewhat conscientious of this and doesn't burn through the cash, kind of continuing to fire off in an irresponsible manner as he did in this 25K, which you know I'm sure he would openly admit to, uh, if he becomes a little bit more conservative and protect the fact that he has built wealth, it's really only uphill from here, and he kind of has his whole life in front of him to figure out how he chooses to grow uh, both his wealth and his, his personal being moving forward. Yeah, the, the past couple of years have been pretty cool. It's been a pretty insane ride, obviously. Uh, climbing the ranks from being a 1-3 grinder up to 2-5 and, and slowly moving up in stakes. Kind of made a leap and just took big shots of myself. So. Mainly I got really lucky with pinking a few tournaments. Uh, my first ever big tournament I ever played on WSOP Online. I won that one for a good chunk of my first bracelet. That was when I never knew any tournament strategy or anything. Then fast forward almost a year later, I played a Venetian tournament and I binked that one for another six figure score. So because of that, that really helped me build a bankroll and I was just really aggressive and shot taking. I had no sense of bankroll management and luckily, being as risk on as I am, it kind of paid off and I had some growing pains at the very beginning. I kind of got whacked every single time I took a big leap, but just stubborn and dumb enough to just continually betting on myself, playing way outside my bankroll and comfort zone, but uh, end of the day, it ended up working out for now. We'll see at the very least, but I've had a pretty good year so far in poker and things are going well. So it's been a wild journey. Just have always bet on myself and maybe being a little too reckless.